Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Saladino. We shall never find that lovely land of might have been. I can never be your king, nor you can be my queen. Sony says Stellar Blade art referencing racist language was unintentional, will be patched out. Art will be removed in Stellar Blade's day one patch. Now this is IGN's revenge against Shift Up. So they finally found something to attack them for that, well, it's not legitimate, but they've gotten Sony to censor the game after all. Well, quote unquote censor. It's not really censorship because this isn't like this was intended and this being this whole graffiti nonsense. So there's a, the word hard on the wall, a wall next to this sign called R shop. So, you know, the graffiti is hard. That's the word. <laughs> and then there's a sign R shop, which apparently is referencing one of the NPCs in the game named Roxanne or Roxy. So Roxy shop, Roxanne shop next to the word hard. So <sighs> IGN has taken this screenshot and is pushing this narrative that this is racist language because they made this connection. It wasn't really just them, but they made this connection that, oh, wow, hard R. Hmm, you know what that is. So <laughs> they've made this connection and they're pretending that on behalf of black people, they're offended. And it's really amazing how they get away with this cynical, desperate use of black people and racism to go after a studio that they don't like. Now they've given Stellar Blade a seven, which is good. Although people, a lot of people don't see seven as good. They see it as uh, mediocre. And that's one of the things I don't like about the number ratings. I prefer star ratings because people treat number ratings like it's more technical, like they're looking at sports or something, like a gymnastics or diving. So these idiots think, and I'm talking about gamers who see it thus this way, these idiots think if you give a game a 10, it means that the game is perfect with no flaws, as opposed to that's the highest rating I can give it. I love it this much. It does so many things well that it deserves a 10. Not that it's perfect, but people are kind of idiots when it comes to that. So for me, I do the star rating where it's like, you know, one star is bad, it's poor. Two stars is fair. It's all right. It's mediocre. Three stars is good. Four stars is excellent. And then five stars is like, this is a masterpiece. This is going to be a classic. This is something that I just love unconditionally, whether it's perfect or not. So anyway, thing is, they give it a seven. And I'm sure it's begrudging. And they're arguing with people in their uh, replies, particularly on Twitter, that no, 7 is good. But they still docked it because they don't like the fact that Eve is sexy and beautiful. And they're still mad at the fact that IGN France, they had to apologize on behalf of that unhinged article where those sociopaths were like, the people who designed Eve, she's this lifeless sex doll created by people who never known the warm embrace between a woman's thighs and blah, blah, blah. Right. So they had to apologize for that because people rightfully push back against, frankly, speaking of racist, racist uh, uh, attack on a Korean studio for creating an attractive woman and, and reducing her to this oriental sex doll or something. You know, it's kind of hilarious how they <laughs> now, though, they get this opportunity to be like, oh, racist language. There's nothing racist about it. You've got the word hard next to in, in graffiti. Next to a sign, our shop. That's not racist language. It's one of those, I don't know if I'm going to call it happy accident, one of those unintentionally funny road sign type things, right? But this was, I'm 100% sure this was discovered, quote unquote discovered. It was seen by this piece of shit, Lance McDonald, this asshole, who saw it and sent it to IGN and other gaming websites to cause trouble. And it's one of those things where this piece of shit is playing the game. He got So the thing is, he gets a copy early to play it, right? He gets a review code. And instead of being just a good faith person playing the game and giving his opinions on it when it comes out or whatever, he sees this ridiculous thing, the graffiti with the word hard next to a sign that says art shop. And he decides, hmm, this is racism. Let me show everybody this. And he's such a weasel in the way he went about this. So he put out this tweet. Stellar Blade embargo is up, so I can finally show you the hard R shop graffiti. Laugh my ass off. 
wonder how long this will take to get patched out. So I guess he put the tweet out, and then not 20 minutes later, IGN put out their uh, article talking about how, you know, the racist language is unintentional. Sony uh, is on their knees groveling to us, telling us that they will absolutely patch it out on day one. And I don't know if Grums himself said this or if people went to Grums and said, Lance McDonald is the one who found this uh, image and sent it to everybody and is the one making us think about it. And he's acting like, oh, it's just something that is independent of him. And I don't know, like, I don't know the the full thing about it. I just later on looking for some tweets to use in this uh, video, found Grum saying, hey, I had a good conversation with this guy, Lance McDonald. Um, I take back, I guess at a certain point, there was a back and forth where Grums was like, Lance is the one who, quote unquote, leaked this image or pushed this image out there. But Lance denied it. And so I guess later on, Grums went to the Discord after Grums was like, OK, he says he didn't have anything to do with it. I uh, trust him, blah, blah, blah. So then he goes into his uh, Lance McDonald's uh, Discord. They're talking shit about Grums. So Grums says, the guy is a liar. Just listening to how he's slamming me in the Discord after what he told me, I don't believe him at all. And yeah, I don't believe him either. Just looking at his response to that, McDonald's response to Grums, where he's like, oh, you a piss baby and a grifter. And they always go to that. Every cancel pig, when they don't actually have anything, an actual argument to make, they just say, you're a grifter and piss baby. The, the piss baby thing is really funny because this is the guy who actually decided to get triggered over graffiti and a sign, put them together in his own mind and push this narrative that it's racist. And for IGN to claim that, well, they say it's unintentional. The fact that they wouldn't just look at this like a normal human being would look at that and go, OK, this is a nothing burger. I hate that term, but this is nothing. This is not a big deal. Why are you bringing us this shit? But because they have an axe to grind, because they're the ones pushing this agenda, they are the piss babies. They're upset because there's a hot chicken games. I don't know what the fuck. Lance McDonald's problem is, I think he's the, the guy who found the last big secret in near Auto Automata. So I don't know what the hell he's doing here. I don't know if he just has friends or he has something. He seems to have an axe to grind or a problem with Grums because I remember when I first saw all this stuff about this hard R controversy or whatever, Grums said, hey, I, this Lance McDonald's got me blocked. I've never interacted with him. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking immediately, oh, well, he doesn't like you. He's like he said, he, you're a grifter. You're a piss baby to him. You're somebody who's pointing out the agenda, the DEI stuff. He's one of these people who's bought into it for whatever reason. And so he doesn't like you anyway. And so it's just gamers are having fun. They're excited about a hot chick in a game, a game that looks cool. And it looks like the next Nier Automata. And Yoko Taro himself, the creator of Nier Automata, says it's better than his game. I don't know if it's going to be more emotionally impactful or all that stuff. I'm not sure it's going to be all of that. But for him to even say that... That's cool. It's, uh, you know, a big vote of confidence for Stellar Blade. So I don't need any of these reviews to be tens or nines or whatever. I don't care what the gaming press say. I just pay more attention to the YouTubers anyway. Um, so not just Lance McDonald. For whatever reason, Lance McDonald's on the tear against Grums. He pushes out this fake racist language thing. IGN picks it up, of course, because like I said, they're mad at having to apologize. And then for some reason, that fat fuck Vito is all up in everybody's replies, like the one lone jackass, for whatever reason, doing damage control for IGN when people were clowning them for even talking about this thing. And he's acting like, well, what are you guys so mad for? They're just reporting on a patch. Do you think there's something wrong with... But this is the same fat piece of shit who... I was, I've shown that video a couple of times now where he's at some... Uh, staff, some Netflix employees uh, strike or whatever, protest outside Netflix uh, because of Dave Chappelle. He's out there with a sign saying jokes are, can be funny or whatever. These people attack him, break his sign. He now has the stick of his sign and then they start yelling, he's got a weapon. He sees how literally they weaponize their agenda against you, yet he's playing this Gaga Google game with, what do you mean? What's wrong with they're just reporting on a patch. What's so wrong with that? You know, it wasn't that they're just saying, hey, they're patching out something that looks like it could be misconstrued as racism. And they're literally saying it's racist language, but they say it's not intentional. So they're going to patch it out. That's how they 
it's just the whole thing with the, the the whole point of like DEI and diversity and inclusion. It's not the diversity and inclusion. It's how they implement it. If you see two words together and you in your mind can make a fake, because it's not even the slur. Hard R is not the slur. The actual word is the slur, not hard R, which makes you think, oh, they could be saying <laughs> or retard or something. You know, that to pretend that that's actually the offense is stupid and Sony enabling them. That's the problem with a lot of this. These people live off of these large corporations, knees buckling immediately to anything. But this in and of itself isn't actually censorship since it was not the intention of Shift Up to make any kind of joke. I know for whatever reason, Quartering, who I never watch, I saw uh, the, the title though of the video about this where he's saying over a dumb joke. It wasn't a joke. Why are you characterizing it as a joke? It wasn't a joke. It's like he's stirring up shit just for the hell of it. Why? I don't know. I didn't watch the video. So just looking at the title, though, it doesn't make sense to say they censored a Stella Blade over a stupid joke. It wasn't a joke. It's just two words put together that future Saladino here. It's funny. I actually get to do one of these. It occurred to me once I finished recording that when I was talking about I didn't like the title where it's like over a dumb joke. And I'm thinking Jeremy is saying that. The hard R thing was deliberate. It was a joke because people have been saying this in the comments of other people's videos and on in the tweet threads about it saying, oh, yeah, it was intentional. They are based and I'm mad that they're censoring it. I'm not going to buy the game after all. It's like these Korean guys didn't know anything about that because hard R is not the actual slur. Hard R is the descriptor, the qualifier to say, no, I said nigga. I didn't say, you know, the hard R one. That's not even, like, hard R is not even a slur. And the fact that they're uh, characterizing as that is just so disingenuous for McDonald to do that and for IGN, whoever else is doing it. Um, but it's possible that Jeremy is saying the joke is the word hard itself, because the word hard apparently is graffiti throughout the game. One of the reasons why people can easily dismiss this as not being on intentional and on purpose is because the word hard is everywhere and it just happened to be next to our shop. So maybe he just means the joke is you, the player, is playing the game looking at Eve's fine ass and Taki's fine ass and the little cute one who's like your little <laughs> Q or whatever. I think she's going to be, um, you're going to be hard playing the game. And that's the joke. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. It's like he's stirring up shit just for the hell of it. Why? I don't know. I didn't watch the video. So just looking at the title, though, it doesn't make sense to say they censored. Uh, Stella Blade over a stupid joke. It wasn't a joke. It's just two words put together that that I was about to, that bundle of sticks Lance McDonald saw, pushed it to IGN and other websites. Who, of course, they're against Stella Blade. Even if they give it good or decent reviews, they still don't like the fact that they have to talk about a game with such a sexy character. It's just like with Hogwarts, where they can't even talk about. It. They can't do a guide of Hogwarts without mentioning at the bottom of the fucking guide oh by the way you know jk rowling is a transphobe we acknowledge that she no she just doesn't believe that men are can become women that's it that's not transphobia saying that a, a, a man can't turn into a woman it's not transphobia be who you need to be but don't take away what a woman is just to satisfy an agenda that's not just because you have an agenda doesn't mean it's real just because you have an ideology doesn't mean it's actual fact you know that's just like your opinion man <laughs> and Rowling's belief isn't an opinion. It's actual science. It's the truth. But anyway, so my thing is this, that just looking at how dirty, sneaky, and underhanded these people are, it's just, it's funny that they get away with acting like they're the, the good guys. They're the morally upstanding ones when they're literally being racist and cynical just because they don't like a sexy woman in a video game. I bring to you. 